Hello guys, hope you are doing well. If you are new and haven't subscribed our channel, please press the subscribe button. In this video, we will learn how we can use belt and chain assembly in SolidWorks. So let's start. So we have these five parts. These are the parts of belt and pulleys. We have four pulleys and one back support and we will make the belt and chain using the belt chain feature in the solid work assembly. So let's start. First of all we are going to add the back support. So this is our back support. We will make concentric and coincident pulleys on these simple small shafts. First of all we are going to select the pulley one and we will make them concentric and coincident here select this phase hold alt and simply drag it toward this phase and it will make it concentric this is the shortcut key after that hold control and uh, select these two faces and make them coincident by using these shortcut keys you can save your time you don't have to go again and again to this mate tab so this is our second pulley now again go to the folder and select pulley 3 this is our third pulley Now we have we are going to add our last pulley which is pulley 4 and we are going to add it on the upper shaft So our pulleys are mated and are ready to make the belt on chain feature between these pulleys so now you can see that these pulleys are rotating along they are not rotating with reference to each other so we have to make the belt and chain feature to make them rotate with reference to each other so for that we will go to assembly feature and in, in assembly feature we have the option of belt or chain so from here we have to select the belt members so we will select the faces of the pulleys like 1 2 so you can see that this yellow line is showing the visual representation of belt and our third member is this and the last one is this small so you can see that it is showing the cross between this pulley if you want to make the cross then you can use this uh, uh, otherwise if you don't want to make this cross just flip the direction and you can make it like this so from here you can increase or decrease the dia of the pulley and from here you can increase the belt thickness like this at how much the thickness of your belt we will make it for zero and from checking it create a belt part you can make it an other part this is not just the mate it will be the another part select ok save and continue save the assembly so now you can see that the belt, belt length is equal to 27.48 cm is ready and in mate you can see the belt mate so now if I will rotate this pulley the other pulley will rotate accordingly if you if I want to make the shape of the belt what I will do is I will go to the belt part I will go to the edit feature edit part and 
from here I will make the plane like this select ok and I will sketch on this plane select the corner rectangle and make the rectangle like this go to exit sketch now I will use the swept boss base command to make our belt so this is our swept profile and this is our path now you can see the belt is ready select ok go to edit component now you can see the belt like this if we will rotate it will rotate accordingly so like this you can easily make the belt and pulley mechanism you want of your choice change the color of the belt and your assembly is ready so this was simple tutorial on belt and chain or pulley assembly in SOLIDWORKS thank you for watching keep supporting and keep sharing